we can go to my MDE page and this is how it looks quite nice look welcome back guys I am trying to add one more component to this angular app that I have created and in that component the goal is to add a markdown editor okay why this simple MDE actually I did some research and I found that this is the uh, most uh, used uh, markdown editor uh, from the open source community okay js deliver is the free cdn for open source um, projects in javascript world and when i did the research i found that uh, there are quite a few markdown uh, libraries that are being used and if you see this eg mde is actually a you know fork from simple mde i can say that simple mde is quite popular and you know trusted open source uh, editor open uh, view on github okay I go here so yeah this project is in uh, github so I just went to the source and I want to use this link and script okay in my project okay my project is a angular project so I'll go and create a component right here I'll uh, create a new component which is my I'll name the component as MDE page and I'll call this my MDE page okay this looks I think this is okay so I created a component now fine so we got our MDE page component fine I'll go to HTML dot CSS okay uh, let's go here and uh, this is created inside the apps folder so my MDE page we can see it good now I can see the HTML page okay and now this my MD page uh, does not have any content we have to bind this page right so I should be able to have a routing rule which will take me to the my MD page okay so let's do that this is one thing that I want to do the app module TS it has created a my MD page which is good the routes routes is a array of route which is here also routes is a array of routes okay and app routes and enable tracing debugging purpose only okay but let's go and add the path for now path okay and I'll go here add a path here okay fine and my component is what my component is my MDE page component right so I have added my path here I'll say uh, I will say I'll call the path my MDE page for now okay we will add this for root app routes enable uh, tracing true let's enable it for now because anyway I'll be doing the doing a lot of debugging here so for root app routes here for root routes and then I'll call this fine enable routes yep so I did this my MD page I have created now let's see uh, there is no error which is good now let me go and see the page and I should have a my MD page uh, my MD page works yep cool we have added the path and the component map to the path which is good now we have to go and edit our old HTML page so in the HTML page what I have done the first the, the the home page if you see this home page the home page is like covering the full entire particular UI right so ideally what we should do this particular UI should be actually taken from another component which I did not do it yet okay and on the uh, on the root path this page this component should be fetched and when I do my MD page my MD page should be fetched okay right now if we see this uh, the last line is the router outlet right so that that means if I will just put the my MD page now I should be able to see that page below this so which means my routing rules are working okay but this is odd right so I have to go to another page this is single page concept right so always one page will be there okay so our layout is not right now okay so if I will just fix the layout this should 
this should be good okay so let me maybe let me fix the layout for now okay so if i see this app component html what my app component html should look like i would say that app component html should contain the fixed components which should always be visible irrespective of any url change so uh, the top you know header portion can be part of this let's create another component here i'll call it um, component home and now i'll go to home page i'll just patch this everything from here so now uh, i'll just uh, copy this entire content accept the router outlet to my home page okay let's go and change the home page home component html and i'll i'll just paste my content from there put it here fine and i'll go to routing uh, rule where is my routing module this is my routing module and i will add another path here okay comma uh, okay fine and i'll say in my root home where is home home component see so i got my home component here and another path for my md page okay and this is only one page now you can see this is good now if i'll go to uh, my mde page so this is what i was looking for okay we should also have the navigation in our my md page so let me put that first to the uh, home page or the app mde page app component html right so on top as usual every page has a menu so i'm just putting this in my app component so the app component has navigation and a router outlet so now i know that this is my layout okay good now i just have to add this demo page right this is very tricky actually this is not very simple that you might be thinking because now simple md that i am looking at right now this is not an angular component okay and this is plain javascript library I am going to embed that here so I have to use some different kind of technique here okay already is my MD okay I have to add this link and script here okay. so I have added the link and script here actually I'll add the link on top and script below okay so i have added the link and script so there is no error yet which is good i will go to the ts file where is this my md page component ts and it has a constructor so on init what i want to do i want to replace that paragraph that id with my simple md okay i'm sure this will not work so it is not able to find the simple md variable that i am trying to access are all you know globally available in a javascript okay so i definitely have to do something else so after a long fight i could fix the problem i ran into some you know problem in handling events for the simple md so i changed the simple md to egmd okay initially if you go back to the uh, the video i spoke about to markdown editor egmd and simple md i tried to integrate egmd and i could integrate it well because of a good documentation actually okay simple md i could not i followed the document but i could not uh, somehow i ran into different problems so but the steps are exactly same it is not going to be different so i would encourage uh, to go with egmd because uh, this is a running solution that i'm about to show you right now so what i did um so i created a mymd js file as i said this two libraries are pure javascript you know written on jquery so i had to write a different javascript file where what i'm doing is i'm creating the egmd object here okay so if you see the egmd you can see the demo with a nice example so i just copied this code and put it in my 
um, file this mymd.js file so this is egmd okay and i'm just doing some you know event handling here okay to listen to different event okay like full screen side by side all those things but you don't have to worry about all these things but this is very important so i created a mymd.js file and i put that you know uh, created this object here and then in app component.ts file i wrote a public method okay which is called load script which will take a url and load that script okay and this method what i did i called from uh, my mde page component.ts if you see this this is what was our plan right so in ng on init we were talking about loading that particular script right loading that particular mde the markdown editor right so what i am doing i'm just like calling the load script method and loading my my mde.js so this is how you can actually load any other javascript file also from a angular typescript component okay very simple solution but it took a very long time to figure it out and i did some little bit of uh, you know changes to the uh, to the HTML file, how does it look? We can see now. We can go to my MDE page, and this is how it looks. Quite nice look. The HTML that I have written is this much. That's it. Okay, and we can go full screen. We can escape. We can split screen. We can go to split screen, and I have actually you know uh, defaulted some text here. I can write here. Let's say presented by Sandhi feeling so happy that you know finally I, it came out so well and I could create a editor for my website we can go to the split screen and we can you know see this live a nice video session to load a mark down editor using easy md cool so the next plan is actually you know when we submit it should go and get saved in the server side so that's it for now guys see you next time thanks for watching